Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to make a short video. Um, a lot of people know me from my metal detecting videos where we take metal detectors, go out and try to find um, silver, gold, um, Civil War relics, Revolutionary War relics. Um, but today I want to give you a little history lesson. Um, some of you may know, but not a lot may know either, but uh, um, back in the 50s an atomic bomb was dropped on South Carolina. Um, some of you be like, what, what the hell is he talking about? But this really did happen. Uh, March 11th, 1958, an American, um, I think it was the 308th out of uh, Georgia, um, bomb squadron uh, was flying over South Carolina and accidentally dropped an atomic bomb on Mars Bluff, South Carolina. Um, it caused a big explosion. Um, it cracked walls for a five mile radius, um, cracked windows. Um, destroyed a home. Thankfully, no one was killed. But I'm going to take you there now and show you what it's all about. Hey, one important uh, fact that I, I failed to mention that's probably got a lot of you scratching your heads. Um, it was an uh, atomic bomb, uh, but the uranium, the plutonium that is in the bomb, actually wasn't in it. Um, for safety reasons, they were transporting it out of the bomb, um, just in case something like this happened. However, when the bomb did drop accidentally, it was still this enormous bomb, and it was had 7,600 pounds of explosives in it. Um, it. It caused a big mushroom cloud and a 75 foot wide by 25 to 35 foot deep crater. Um, so this still was a huge explosion. Um, let, let's go ahead and take it. I'm here in a Mars Bluff. Um, there used to be a road sign here. I think the name of this road is like Atomic Lane or Atomic Road, but uh. It's missing. Um, I'm going to show you the historic marker. Um, just uh, put put the video on pause if you want to read it all the way through. But there you go. That's the first part of it. Like I said, just uh, hit pause. And we'll go around to the other side. So let's uh, get on into the woods and show you what it's all about. All right, here we are at the first stop, um, marked as the uh, foundation of Walter Gregg's home. Um, you've got some uh, brick over here and, and the foundations right through here. Um, I'm going to show an aerial view that was taken the day after the bomb dropped of the home in the crater site. Um, obviously the home is here, the crater site is out that way. Let me show it to you right now. Alright, let's head out to the second place. All right, we are here through a little quick walk in the woods, thanks to speeding the video up, of what's left of the uh, crater site. Um, they built a little platform here. They had a 50th year uh, anniversary of the ones that remembered, little community. They had chairs out here. and uh, You can search YouTube um, to see the ceremony. Um, here is a plywood um, bomb that someone made. Um, so that's how big it, it, it was. Um, here's an actual pick of the bomb right here. So as you can see, that, that was a pretty big bomb. Um, here, they've got <coughs> old, old newspapers. Air Force keeps secrecy wraps on calls of atomic bomb drop. It was a bad day in Mars Bluff. Commander admits crew error possible. Congressman view bomb drop issue. Atomic bomb without warhead drops in Mars Bluff section. It started as a quiet afternoon at Mars Bluff. And on this side, 
and on this side you've got other uh, news articles and, and newspaper clippings uh, of when it happened. Um, but let me show you. Hey, here's a plane. I hope they're not getting ready to drop another atomic bomb. Here I am standing on the uh, the platform overlooking the crater. Now I know a lot of times in videos it's kind of hard to get a, a depth perception or whatnot of, of how things actually are, but I'm standing on the edge and the crater goes all the way around here and I, as again I am standing on the, the edge of the crater. Um, if I had a tripod I could set it up here and get down in the, the bottom of that and kind of give you a perspective of of what it is now. It's a big domed area um, but that big old bomb dropped and here's the crater. So let's uh get down there and see what we can see from All there. Alright, I am in the bottom of the crater. Now obviously since this happened in 1958 it has um, filled in somewhat. Um, but now we are at the bottom looking out. I've been here in times before where this was actually filled with water. Understandably it's, it's just a big hole. Uh, but I am in the in the bottom of it. And you can actually look at a uh, YouTube or Google and see a circle. You can still see it from the sky. See, it's a big circle because no trees are growing. So uh, you can still see it from Google Maps. But uh, hope you enjoyed this this little short history lesson. I'm gonna show you a clip that that happened back then when when it came out, and uh, not a lot of people know it, but now you know. An atomic bomb dropped on the United States. Thank you a lot for watching. An atomic bomb breaks loose from a mounting shackle in a B-47 jet over Florence, South Carolina. Plummets to earth, causing a sensational freak accident. There was near disaster for those within range of the TNT, that is the bomb's trigger. Six were injured. The home of Walter Gregg was turned into a shambles. In the Gregg yard, the blast tore a 35-foot deep crater. But despite the havoc, authorities emphasized the explosion was not a nuclear blast. The bomb was not assembled for firing, standard procedure during transportation. No accident could make it explode, and there was no fission, no radioactive fission products revealed as the Air Force scoured the area in an intensive search for any information of value following the first accident of its kind in history.